we have three probes in the pivot area and they're all marginally different on their levels of requirements of water. So um, we just, with discussions with you and having a good guesstimation, we're just working out which is the best one to follow and also physically looking at the pivot and the grass, of which way to follow, and also the SWAN system, which I get a email every day, you know, and that's updated every day. They give you a weekly forecast mm -hmm. and then that's continually rolling to be changed due to the weather conditions. So what triggered in this second year was that we probably weren't, I, I probably wasn't watering enough for the grass. So we weren't, well, probably, yeah, not a green drought, but we just weren't giving the ground enough grass enough water to grow even though we're staying alive and we were getting some growth rates but weren't getting what we wore to. I've, I've probably used more water than I would have historically but using the evaporation figures and the probes where we need to know where our readily available water levels are has made us grow, the gr uh, grow grass. Knowing that I'm putting the right amount of water on to get the, um, keep the readily available water into the soil profile, keep the pasture growing to its optimum. Yeah, it's been a very good tool. Wild Eye is just an app on my phone, so I can look at that any time, and I'll generally look at it every day. If not, yeah, I've got the ability to look at it every day and make decisions. And having AgSense, which the pivots are set up on AgSense, so I can adjust, I can increase the amount of water put on the pivots. Again, using the app on my phone and using the Swan system so using that daily forecast that's updated and looking at the amount of evaporation we're going to have so having that information allows me to make decisions every day on the volume of water that was required on the pivot and to keep the grass growing to its optimum now the most important things i've learned out of the the program that we're running at the moment is the electronic moisture probes are really handy it shows you where your levels are of readily available water so you keep those levels up so you don't put the plant into stress. And if you can keep them up and get your growth out of your plants, then you're actually making the system work to its as efficiently as possible, or as efficient as you can. So you're actually growing grass instead of thinking that you're growing grass. Because once those readily available water levels go below a certain level, you really struggle to get that moisture back into the ground. So we'll probably, one early factor we learnt, we started watering earlier last year and I reckon that helped a lot.